Okay, in this uh, lecture we're going to cover formal charges a little bit more. So if we take um, NO3 minus, for example, so if you remember what NO3 minus is called, that's one of the polyatomic ions you're supposed to have memorized. Uh, it's called nitrate. And based on what we've covered in this chapter, you know how to draw a Lewis dot structure for nitrate. Right? We've done this in class before, but we'll do it again right quick. So nitrogen's got five valence electrons, oxygen's got six. And if you remember what to do if it's negative charged, uh, every negative charge you add an, an electron. So 18, 24 electrons uh, to build this molecule. And so the structure we came up with in class uh, was that, right? Nitrogen in the middle, double bonded to one oxygen and single bonded to the other two oxygens. And two lone pairs on one oxygen and the other three oxygens have three lone pairs. Okay, so since the compound is negative charged overall, then all of the all of the formal charges um, can't be zero. So there has to be a net negative one formal charge. If you add up all of the formal charges on all of the different atoms, then the total has to equal negative one. So let's uh, calculate the formal charge on each of the atoms. Let me just draw it again where I got more space. Okay, so for the oxygen at top, uh, so it's got six valence electrons minus uh, four dots, so four, four non-bonded electrons minus two lines. So that oxygen has uh, no formal charge. <coughs> and if we calculate the formal charge on the other oxygens, so this oxygen has six valence electrons minus uh, six dots minus one line is negative one. And this oxygen has three lone pairs and one bond. The other oxygen has three lone pairs and one bond. So the oxygen on the right is negative one and the oxygen on the left has to be negative one as well. So this is negative one, this is negative one. And now for nitrogen, so for the nitrogen, it's got five valence electrons minus zero dots minus four lines. So it's got a plus one charged. <clears throat> so if you add up all of the formal charges, two negatives and one positive, then overall it's got a net negative one charge. So sometimes when you see these compounds drawn, you see them drawn uh, like this in brackets with the net charge outside of the brackets, or sometimes you may see it drawn in brackets with the Lewis dot structure shown. And then outside of the bracket, the net formal charge, uh, the way that I prefer you to draw it, and for those of you who go on the organic chemistry, you'll have to do it this way in organic chemistry, so you might as well just get accustomed to doing it now. You show the formal charges uh, directly on each atom. So negative one, negative one, plus one is how I prefer that you draw these molecules. So any atom that has a non-zero formal charge, you have to show the charge when you draw the molecule. So let's take one more example. So if we take NH4 plus, if you remember what NH4 plus is called, again, one of those polyatomic ions you're supposed to know the name of. Uh, this one's called ammonium. And if we drew the Lewis dot structure, so nitrogen's got five valence electrons, hydrogen's got one. And if it's positive charge, if you remember what to do, you subtract one electron. So it's got eight electrons total. And so the Lewis structure is simple, nitrogen in the middle with four hydrogens attached to it. And now if you calculate the formal charges on everything, so for hydrogen, it's got one valence electron, minus zero dots. So minus zero non-bonded electrons, minus one line, or one bond, so it's zero. So this hydrogen has a zero formal charge. All of the hydrogens look the same, so they're all zero. And then if we do the same for nitrogen, five valence, minus zero dots, minus four lines, 
is plus one charge, so nitrogen's plus one. So then I prefer you draw the molecule like like that, showing the formal positive charge on nitrogen. But again, sometimes you see the molecule drawn in brackets with the formal charge outside the brackets, or sometimes the little structure inside the bracket with the formal charge outside the bracket. But again, I prefer that you show the charges on the actual atoms themselves. So for those of you, again, who go into organic chemistry, you'll be drawing Lewis structures and be drawing formal charges all the time. So if you learn how to do it now, organic chemistry just got a little bit easier for you. So you'll see this on the quiz on the test. I'll just give you a molecule with all of the bonds and lone pairs showing, and you'll have to go in and assign formal charges to all of the different atoms. And then if you sum up the formal charges, that's the net charge on the compound. And that's it.